everybody, I'm back and today I will be doing a speculation on Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 and the characters of it. Wait a minute, what are you doing here? Get out of here, you're not Nickelodeon, get out of here. Sorry about that. Like I said, I will be doing a speculation on Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 and the characters and making some more predictions on what characters I think should be returning for the game. And no, I will not be including any of the cut characters from Nick Brawl 1 because they've already had their chance in the Nick Brawl game. And honestly, I'm getting really tired of all this backlash going on about, oh, how awful, they're removing all the characters. I'm like, what are you talking about? There are like 25 characters in the roster compared to 20 or 22 however you want to speculate. I'm like, seriously, grow up. So far, we only got, we've got the 25 characters, 14 characters from the first game will be returning. They are Aang, April O'Neil, Danny Phantom, Garfield, Jenny, Cora, Lucy Loud, Nigel Formberry, Patrick, Reddit Steppy, Reptar, Rocco, Spongebob, and Zim. Now, if you've paid attention to the first speculation from back in 2021, I might have gotten some that didn't ha some characters that didn't happen, some characters that did happen. And so here are the ones that I was actually pretty accurate about. And this was kind of like before the release of Nick Brawl 1. Now the characters I got right were Jenny and Rocco. And then, in addition to Nick Brawl 2, there are about a couple characters uh, that I got right as well that I predicted to be in the second game. If there was a second game, they are the Angry Beavers, uh, Squidward, and Jimmy Neutron. So it's not too bad. I couldn't have got it. I might have gotten it completely wrong if I was very unlucky, but thankfully I didn't. And so the rest of the new covers I did not mention that are also going to be in the second game are Azula, Donatello, El Tigre, Ember McLean, Gerald, Grandma Gertie, Plankton, and Raphael. And as for the controversy regarding what the characters being so-called cut, I think in some characters' cases, some characters had to be removed for to save room for other characters so they won't have to make the franchise seem too big. Uh, SpongeBob and Mutant Ninja Turtles is a good example of this. And others, because... Well, for Hugh Neutron, for example, they don't want to encourage child abuse because they added Jimmy, for example. And for other cases regarding the regarding the cameo appearance of Helga in the Lockjaw Aquarium, in place of Gerald, I'm assuming, though I can't confirm this, but I'm assuming that they're taking a big switcheroo with Gerald. That help us make it a big switcheroo with Gerald. I apologize for that. I could easily assume that Gerald is one of the cameo characters in Nick Brawl 1. I can't exactly speculate on that, so correct me if I'm wrong. And so, with that out of the way, here is going to be a few more characters I would hopefully like to see for DLC if that happens, and I'd really be excited to see that. And now before I get started, I do have a lot, I do draw a line for specific characters, like for single character franchises such as Cat Dog and All Real Monsters. I feel like those were uncalled for in my opinion. But however, I'm getting, I'm very hopeful for the DLC, however, 
and a big and the reason I'm saying I'm being hopeful for it is because I would love to see different characters taking their place. So it's obvious that Oblina and Cat Dog are nothing new. So if they can exchange it for different characters from the same franchises, I'd be totally fine with it. Since we already know the majority of the roster, or pretty much the entire roster, excluding the DLC in Nick Brawl 2, I want to narrow it down so I won't take as long, or about nearly as long as for the first game, on my speculations for characters I want to see in Nick Brawl 2. Again, I'm not going to include any cut characters and say, Oh, bring it back, bring it back. It is what it is. Guys, just deal with it. Now, I'll start off with Rugrats. Because Doug is now owned by Disney. Like I said. Again, I'm still going to focus on Tommy, Chucky, and Angelica. I'm really hoping that they at least one of them becomes a part of the DLC in this game. I'm not going to include Susie, however, because I really don't see a lot of move potential in her. If you're willing to uh, ask, request me if there's some moves that, that Susie could have if she was in Nick Brawl 2, feel free to point it out. Because I'd really, I'd really, really love to know about it. In Rocco's Water Life, I still have the same characters requested. Uh, Philbert, Heifer, and the Big Heads. Once again, would love to see, would be very excited to see if one of them comes as a DLC. Now for turning to one of the character one of the cut characters in the from the original roster, Oblita is one of the cut characters. So as one of the DLC, I would like either Ickis or Crow to take her place as a part of the DLC. I'd really love to see that. Especially Crow since it's very hard to determine who his voice actor really is because I absolutely love the Paramount Plus ad. It's where, where Crumb made an appearance. I thought it was really cute. And uh, let me retrace back to Cat Dog because I don't know a lot of Hey Arnold characters or any character I can think of that have a lot of move potential. So for Cat Dog, I think Winslow T. Oddfellow would be my next guess if they took out Cat Dog. And I really like to see Winslow as a DLC. Well, fun fact, he was a cameo character in the first game. So we would have we would have to end up getting an entirely different stage of the Cat Dog franchise to make Winslow playable. Or whatever sort of stage they can think of. Or something like that. <laughs> Sorry. For Invader Zim, I'd like to see Dib be playable. I think he is also a very good heroic antagonist to Zim. I think this would work out very well if he was part of a DLC. And for a new show, I'd like to see Rudy from Top Rudy from Chalk So. Sorry about that. And have Snap as his assisted characters. And that's all I can pretty much think of for all the characters so far. Anyways, I would be very excited if any of those characters end up as in DLC 
I would really be happy to see them. And I am also aware of the specials and the story mode, and I'm really excited for that. So I can't wait for this game to come out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time in another video. So thank you. Bye-bye. You're still here? Are you kidding me? What do you want from me? You want me to do multiverses? Okay, fine. As long as you get out of here.